Hey guys, this is Bish Reviews and welcome to my channel and welcome to another brand new episode of a Barbie Reviews and on today's episode I have a doll from the Hard Rock Cafe series so she is 2007 Hard Rock Cafe Barbie doll so yeah she is from the Barbie collector so she is from the gold label collection so yeah she is one stunning looking Barbie doll so yeah I basically do not know much about the Hard Rock Cafe or anything about it but I solely bought this doll because of her face because I love me some Nichelle face mold and she just looks amazing. I mean as soon as I found out that Hard Rock Cafe series has a Nichelle face mold, I knew I had to get her so I finally got her. So yeah, let us begin with this review. So the box is totally gold as you can see and it gives a very premium touch because of that color. So yeah, the box has the matte background, the matte gold in it and we have some uh, symbols, some patterns, as you can see there are skulls, there are roses, there are guitars and all of the other patterns and it looks really nice and they are glossy and we have the golden lining over there which is like this shimmery glossy thingy and in the middle it says Hard Rock Cafe as you can see and it's this shiny Hard Rock Cafe with a circle and down here it says Barbie Collector Gold Label and we have the Barbie logo which is this shiny thing as well so it's really beautiful. So in the middle, we have this Barbie doll in front of this beautiful background. So on the side of the box, we have the patterns again. So we have the skulls, the guitar, and they're all in glossy. And on the other side as well, we have the patterns. And down there, it says Mattel, and we have the product code. So on the top of the box, we have the Hard Rock Cafe logo, and we have the patterns again, and they all are in glossy. And at the back of the box, we have this very big picture of the doll. I wish Barbie would still do these kind of things because I really love how the uh, dolls are shown in the back and this kind of big picture makes the box even more exotic. So yeah, she looks really nice and she kind of looks different but as we know the prototypes are always different than what we get. So I say different because the hair kind of comes on her face but the actual doll does not have it. So I wish the hair was like this on, like it is on the picture. So on the left side it says Hard Rock Cafe Barbie doll. And we have the few things written about the doll and the Hard Rock Cafe. So if you want to read that, please pause the video. Also down here we have a sticker that says no more than 12,000 worldwide. And all the labels have been explained. And also down here we have a few of the things. So it also says costume is not removable. So yeah, I figure it out now that the costume is not changeable. So, at the bottom of the box, as you can see, we have the product, age, grade, contents, and few of the things. So, if you want to read that, please pause the video. So, before I actually unbox the doll, I just wanted to show you how she has been packed. So, yeah, she's in front of this very beautiful, all the bursts of colors, background, and looks really nice. I mean, it helps the doll pop out even more. And I love the patterns, the gold patterns that are under her skirt. That looks really nice. So let us get the Barbie out of the box and have a better look on her. So here's the Barbie out of the box. So before we look into her, let's see what she came with. So she came with this model meal stand. That is a closed base model meal stand. The standard one that used to come with. She also came with this certificate of authenticity. So we will look into this. And also she came with this hard rock pin, one of a kind collectible pin. So it's a guitar with a roses and thorns and leaves and it has glitters on them. On the guitar as well, it says Barbie Hard Rock Cafe. So it's really nicely detailed. So on the back, as you can see, we have the guitars. And also it says Pre-Made in China and we have the Iridescent Hard Rock Cafe. We have the Iridescent Hard Rock Cafe, as you can see. So it also came with this guitar for the Barbie, so it looks really nice. So the strings are made up of golden threads and it kind of looks like real strings, as you can see. And we have the, you know, kind of a tiger print going down there. We have golden glitters, as you can see, and it says Hard Rock Cafe. We have roses, and this is the back. The back is pretty plain, but it has the golden glitters, and we have the strap. Get a strap. So the, yeah, the material is same as our shoes, which I will be discussing later. 
So her certificate of authenticity came in this clear pouch and the certificate is in a pretty good condition and it's in a really good quality. So it says certificate of authenticity Hard Rock Cafe Barbie doll. This certifies that your Hard Rock Cafe Barbie doll was created for Hard Rock through the collaborative efforts of Hard Rock and designers and artists at Patel. So it has the copyright of Hard Rock, then we have the Barbie head logo, and then it says Barbie collector, gold label, and we have the product code and all the things. And also we have the calligraphed certificate of authenticity as the watermark. So here's the beautiful Barbie doll, so let's start off with her face. So she uses this very beautiful Nichelle face mold which was introduced back in 2004. So yeah, she is mostly used in the African American dolls but this time she is a little bit lighter skin tone than that. So she has grey eyes and it kind of looks like it's almost blue eyes and she has very thick liner, very long lashes as you can see it flares like a peacock feather. And her makeup is really beautiful, it has, you know, iridescent kind of effect going on over there, as you can see. So, she has a blue eyeshadow as her, you know, kind of smoky effect going there. We have a lavender eyeshadow in the, you know, corner of the eyes. And on her lids as well, we have the, you know, a little bit I mean, there are a lot of colors going on, I mean, I can't even denote what is going on over the pink. I mean over the lavender it's kind of it kind of looks like a very shimmery pink and we have the iridescent glitter specks stuck onto her brow bone on the both of the sides as you can see it's really beautiful and under her eye as well there are the same colors going on with the iridescent glitters on the corner of the eyes and her eyebrows are really beautiful as you can see they are light and they have the two linings that gives her a detail her eyes look really beautiful. I wish her eyes were kind of glancing to the right or the left, you know. It kind of would have given her that Nichelle look that we've always got in the top model series. So yeah, she has this nose spinner on her nose, which is kind of a stone thingy going on over there. So I wish that nose pin was a little bit down and I wish it was done a bit clearly. I mean, as you can see, there are some, you know, glue marks on her nose. Uh, it's kind of not that visible and real, but kind of looks really clean in the camera. So I wish there was no, that nose pin was a little bit down. And also, she has a very nude kind of lipstick on her lips and it looks really nice. And in the, you know, very center of the lips, we have the iridescent glitter specks over there going on. So her che cheeks are blushed and it looks really nice. So overall, her makeup is not overly done, but whatever has been given to her, she looks splendid. This face could rock anything. So yeah. So as for her hair, she has this black frizzy curly hair. I mean, I really love this Michelle face sculpt with this frizzy hairstyle. I mean, we only had this on the top model, the very first top model Nikki doll. And also we had this on the Model of the Moment series, but I really did not enjoy that face mold much back then. So as you can see, yeah, this hair is straight out of the box. So it kind of looks squished in the back, as you see, but it looks really nice. The hair does not have that much text texture of colors, but it kind of looks really dark, you know, black hair going on in there. So before we talk about her dress, I want to talk about her body. So she uses this Modern Muse body, which has her right hand on her hips, and it looks really nice on her. So she has her fingernails painted black, as you can see. So both of her hands are painted. I mean, I really love that details on the dolls. And you know, she looks really nice. So as for her dress, she has been given this military coat as a top, which looks really nice as you can see. So it's brown in color and it has those uh, golden button things going on on her neck and then on her, you know, chest area till her belly buttons. And you know, it has been really nicely detailed as you can see. So the golden touches are really nice. And as you can see, it has the chain going down from her shoulder till her pocket. It's a golden chain and looks really nice on her. So also we have this logo going on. I mean, a batch with a heart logo in the middle. As you can see, it looks really nice on her as well. So on her left sleeve, we have this HRC, which means Hard Rock Cafe and a rose sticker. And on her right, we have a winged heart and a skull. So 
And I, overall, I would say this jacket has been detailed really well. I really like it. However, this jacket is not removable as it was, I mean, as it said in the box, even the skirt is not removable. I really like it because I would like to keep this doll inside the box itself. So it's fine that the dress is not removable. So as for her skirt, she has this very fluffy skirt with a lot of creases. I mean, a tooled skirt, I think it's called tooled skirt. So we have the brown fishnet, then we have the white fishnet. And then on under them, we have this pattern fishnet. Uh, it's kind of, I mean, it's very lacy design. It looks really nice. There are like four layers, as you can see, even in the below we have one. So there are one brown. There's two whites. Oh, sorry, there are five layers, that is. So one brown, two whites, one lace design, and another two of the white ones. Oh my god, this skirt is really layered. It looks really nice. It looks really fluffy. And in the back, it kind of is creased because of how it was packed. It was packed pretty tight, so yeah. So overall, the jacket and the skirt goes on to her really well. So as for her shoes, she has this very beautiful knee-high boots which are fastened with a chain. I really love that subtle detail that's been going on. I mean, the chain detail, as you can see, it kind of looks like a real-life boot. So yeah, the boot is kind of leathery, kind of, you know, very, very beautiful. It looks like a snake skin or a crocodile skin. It looks really nice. The shoe kind of looks really rusted, kind of looks really vintage, but I really love the design. I mean, the effect that they're going with. So it also has that golden chains going down over there. And, you know, there is this two golden button kind of detail, detail over there as well. And our heels are really nice. The platform has been given, I mean a black platform has been given to her. They, it's a pencil heel and it looks really nice. So boot has a really real life kind of details and I really wanna give Barbie a thumbs up for that. And I wish they did this kind of shoes, you know, these days as well. So here's my review to the 2007 Hard Rock Cafe Barbie doll. And yeah, in my opinion, she is a one really stunning looking Barbie doll and I really 100% do recommend her. I mean, because of her face mold, her fashions and the things that she comes with, the quality is just amazing. I mean, back then Barbie had a lot more quality than they do right now. So yeah, if you wanna collect them, you should go for them. And also there are a few of the other, you know, Hard Rock Cafe dolls. I think they use the Mackie and the Leah face sculpt. I, you know, personally do not want them, but I do believe that they would have the similar kind of quality. So I feel like I should get them. So let's see if I want to get them in the future. So yeah, if you have any questions, please hit the comment section below. Please do like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Uh, you know, I really love you guys, you guys showing your love and support out there as well. And please, if you guys want to let me know anything, you can, I mean, please be sure to let me know. I would be I would be more than happy to answer them for you guys. So yeah, until the next video, thank you so much for watching.